I am, we're filming. Okay. Cool, I'm here in Philadelphia at the ASLA conference with Bryce Merriman and uh, you just gave a speech which was really interesting on homelessness and landscape architecture. And your speech was asking for a kind of positive attitude towards homelessness or a constructive attitude. What did you mean by that? Well, I think for so many of us, the issue of homelessness is just one of these wicked problems that we don't know how to attack, we don't know how to address. But at the end of the day, it's, it's a spatial problem of people occupying space or not having a space to occupy. And I think that landscape architects training in open systems, in ecology, in indeterminacy, really have a lot to bring to that, that table. Um, but we need to be comfortable speaking the language of homelessness and be able to engage the people who we typically engage, the power players of a city, and the people who shape cities to be able to have some positive outcomes around homelessness. There was one particular interesting positive case that you, or positive example that you gave. Can you outline this to our viewers? Yeah, so the, the example that you're talking about is the Community First Village, which is down in Austin, Texas. It's 20 acres of land just outside the city. And there's a gentleman by the name of Alan Graham who came from a real estate development background, but uh, then transitioned into ecumenical uh, religious-based work. And he got a guy a RV at one point. It cost him 30,000 bucks to get the RV. He's like, I got a guy off the streets with that. And so he said, I'm gonna take that to scale. So he bought 20 acres. He started building tiny houses I started having RV plots on that land. And what he's done is now has 240 people who were formerly homeless living on this plot of land, not only living there, but also earning money, uh, giving back to their community, hosting Friday night movie events. They have a community garden. They have a little cemetery for the people who passed away while living there. And it's this amazing example of what a little bit of creative thinking and entrepreneurship can bring to the table. What's so exciting about the Community First Village is two things. One, um, they are starting on phase two. They have a phase three and a phase four. Phase two is going to add another 300 dwelling units, so 300 more people. Add that to the 240, you have over 500 people who were living on the streets, now living in this Community First Village, not just for the place that, that has a roof over their head, but now it also is about building community. Austin, Texas has about 1,200 people who are experiencing homelessness. So this one guy and the partnerships that he's been able to bring to the table have cut that in half. It's an amazing story of getting people homes at scale at the local level. Amazing indeed. Last question, what's your recommendation to landscape architects who want to engage with the problem of homelessness in the cities? Don't let anything hold you back. I think, again, that fear of the unknown and, and kind of the stigma and taboo around homelessness is pretty thick and it's pretty significant. But once you start to engage with one person and you start to talk to them about their story, you learn that it's all about people and it's about relationships. And if you can improve the spatial arrangement for one person, you can begin to extrapolate that out and create spaces that are more inclusive, more welcoming for everyone. So my message, I guess, is don't wait for anyone to tell you you have permission. Go do it now. Thank you.